Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on exponential equations. So anything in the form of f of x equals ca to the x. And here I have two graphs with a, an ordered pair given and it says find the function. So find c, find a. You have the graph, figure it out. Well, c, uh, c, f of x equals c a to the x c is the initial value in other words zero c is a point on the graph so for this one this is four so i know that c has to be four on this graph this one i'll tell you is one third it's not obvious on here but you know it helps when you write the problems and know so in other words c is one third on this graph okay so what I'm going to do to figure this out is I'm going to say for this one, I'm going to say f of x equals 4 times a to the x. And I'm going to use the point 2, 4 ninths. And I'm going to put 4 ninths in for my y value. And I'm going to put 2 in for my x value. And I'm going to figure out what a is. So I'm going to divide both sides I'm going to divide both sides by 4, but dividing by 4 when I have a fraction isn't as fun as just multiplying by 1 fourth. When I multiply by 1 fourth, the fourths cancel. I'm left with 1 ninth equals these 4s cancel, and I have a squared. And I'm going to do the square root of both sides and get that 1 third is equal to a. Normally, I would say this has to be a plus or minus, but a has to be positive. It's one of the rules of a is a has to be positive. So... We have f of x equals 4 times 1 third to the x. For this next problem, um, we know that the initial value is 1 third, and that point we're going to use is 2 16 thirds. So we have f of x equals 1 third a to the x, and the ordered pair is 2 16 thirds. So we plug it in again. For y, we put 16 thirds equals 1 third a squared. This is my x value, this is my y value. And f of x and y are the same thing. You can see my videos on function notation if you're not positive about that. So now I'm gonna multiply both sides by three to clear my fraction. So the threes cancel and I'm left with 16. The threes cancel and I'm left with a squared. And again, I'm going to square root. Again, a has to be positive, so I'm just going to take a equaling 4. Dump negative 4 as being illogical for this problem. And then I have all the parts I need. f of x equals 1 third times 4 to the x. So notice that the two equations are using the same numbers, 4 and 1 third, but the order really matters. When the initial value is 4 and our factor is 1 third, we decay. When our initial value is one third and our growth factor is four, we grow. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.